See if Iverson blew, uh, blew some of his stamina. He comes in, pounds in him with a jab. Durr's boxing nice. Durr's got uh, good rhythm, good timing. He's got a high IQ out there in that ring. You know, he seems to know how to land punches. He's, he's leaning under there and landing some shots to the belly. And Iverson is trying to load up some big shots, but uh, Durr is counter-punching him too pretty well. There's a nice right hand over the top. Iverson uh, in his face, keeping that pressure on. I think that's a good strategy. Let's see uh, how Durr responds with his back on the ropes. He's doing okay, but you know, Iverson has uh, got a good strategy. It's not really giving him, giving him much room to box. I got to give the edge to uh, Iverson this round. Just on a little bit of ring generalship, maneuver off those ropes and get away from this pressure. He comes out, he tried to put a combination right together. He's got his rhythm going a little bit now. And the hook coming. Pressure can mount up. I think Durr has won this tournament before. He knows how to score those points. What do you mean he knows how to score those points? Yeah, Durr in the red. I think he's won this tournament before. 
He's reaching underneath on the inside there yeah. with some clean body shots. Took a right hand, there's another right yeah. hand. And he's giving the left and a right hand, and his opponent's coming back. Yeah. Good exchange. How does it look so far? Well, uh, Iverson is really fighting the right strategy against Durr. Durr does not do well with his back on the ropes. He's more of a counterpuncher, boxer. He needs room to uh, orchestrate his offense, and Iverson isn't giving him that room. If Iverson backs off him, uh, Durr will land some counter punches. You know, if it goes to a pure boxing match at the right distance, the edge is to Durr. On the inside, the edge is to Iverson. Well, you know, sometimes that's the magic of this sport, and just sports in general. Sometimes you have to face more danger to escape danger. Absolutely, Johnny. These, these two guys are worried about danger right now, though. They're trying to uh, exert the danger. I like the strategy of uh, Iverson to stay on top of him, but it looks like Durr is uh, asserting his weight edge, and he's uh, plodding forward now. You see those right hooks to the body? They take their toll. Oh, yeah. You know, they may not look this they take their toll. And especially at that weight. I mean, we're talking about a deuce and a quarter, a deuce 40, a deuce 50, some fast hands and some small gloves. I think this is an even fight with the judges, uh, unless they're really nitpicking some of this, but. You know, uh, there's some nice shots to the body if they're scoring those for Durr. But uh, we're going to see what kind of heart and character these guys have when round three, the bell rings for round three. Iverson's gassing a little bit right now from the pressure of Durr. Durr's a lot better fighter than people give him credit for. Hey. Great fight. You got you got the most skilled guy here doing it. And neither guy using the stool. Whistle, whistle, 10 seconds. Here we go. Iverson come out and gave him a feint like he was gonna attack him and then backed up. And now Durr is you know, landing, trying to throw everything he's got, uh, including the kitchen sink at him. Big right hand over the top for Durr. Durr knows if he, if he steals this round, he's pretty much gonna get the, the title. Beautiful right hand to the body by Durr. And he's uh, hooking it up, stop, uh, up top too. A nice one-two by Iverson. He doesn't mind a wrestling match. Durr's not giving Iverson the room he needs. Yeah, he is. Yes. To be effective. Yes, he is. Oh, beautiful left hook to the body. Beautiful right hook to the body. Swinging for the fences up top. Looks like the uh, former champion Durr is closing the show. He's bringing the boat into port. Johnny, you like that, right? Bringing the boat into port, you're a Navy man. If it tells the story. Lieutenant like Commander, it. nonetheless. In case you didn't hear, Lieutenant Commander. You're demoting me, I'm a commander. Well, he's a notch up. He's graduated, he's commander. Dur Dur's in command here, Johnny. It's a good thing we put our money on, uh, on Durr, huh? Well, we'll see what the uh, board of directors say here. Big shout out to Waspy, Tolomat, and Cynthia. Made all this happen for the enjoyment of all the Golden Glove participants and all the fans and anybody that we reach on the airwaves, on your televisions. All the praise goes to them. This 
seems like a long round. Yeah, I think the uh, timekeeper uh, fell asleep. Added, added a minute. We don't have a watch on it, but no doubt about it. It's just going on and on, which is good because they, these guys are still punching and still throwing the shots. There's a good exchange or two. Durr just landed a big hook. There's 10 seconds. Yeah, that was a, an extra minute on the round. Somebody slipped on the timekeeper. Real good fight. Curtis Iverson hanging in there tough against a really experienced, determined fight. Here comes the decision. Uncle. Champion. 2016 Super Heavyweight and Golden Glove Champion. All three judges scored this bout exactly the same. A unanimous age, decision. Yes. Our winner tonight out of the blue. Yes. 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 I can't okay. agree with that decision, John. I knew you wouldn't. <laughs> I think we should check those scorecards. That is not a good Curtis decision. Curtis Iverson, your 2016 In heavyweight fact, champion. I'll go so far as to say the worst decision of the night. Uh, no way did Iverson win that fight. Uh, need to uh, check those judges who judged that fight. And uh, of course, this is on tape, so we can always review the tape and count the punches, but uh, definitely Durr did not lose that fight. So I'd like to give a big shout out to the occasion crew, film crew, Ben Haran. And Charles Page put in tireless effort here at the Cicero Stadium, producing a great show along with the talent that we had.